Gather round. Surely I have something that will interest me. An interesting selection. Did you use such tools to ignite the- <laughs> This is no work of mine. This was the doing of one. Many were kin who concealed their thirst for power and its source. Falling, of course, if you pursue power yourself, you Tell me more about the curse that has its hold on me. Unrelenting, but made by those who should have held the wisdom bestowed upon them by the common being. It is a great sh What can you tell me of Laddick and this Junus ministry of which I've heard whispers? A man unworthy of his position, his power obtained through distraction and deceit. Alas. The resting place is not the only location Ladakh has soiled with his muck. He controls many of the sacred places we once called home. The mark you bear is one I have seen before. Whispers say it is the mark of the imprisoned, the disgraced. But that is what a man like Ladakh and his misguided ministry would want you to believe. Neither he nor his erroneous clergy is to be trusted. What can you tell me about these sacred places? It would be wise to reflect upon the true self. For you will find a place of mirrors that show a reflection unrecognizable. It's people driven mad by experimentation. A cage created by a power that should be... Another is buried deep in rage. Even the bones of our civilization are open to Ladakh's wrath. Uprooted and now fallen in ruin. In the deep forest, he has taken our churches, our homes, our... Another is shrouded in numbness. Despite Ladakh's influence, he has an adversary he does not dare to face. A man in his sordid kingdom where the snow never ceases. The final, well, this is when Ladakh himself must be sought in his lair, but the opportunity to defeat him will be limited, for all other threats must be eliminated before he can be destroyed. Return to me once you have truly comprehended the threat we face and the places most revered. Only then, Will you begin to understand? Only then can I gift you with more than just words. Grow stronger, Eric. 
Here, use it wisely. I am gratified to lay my eyes upon you once more.